Welcome back to another installment of Era of Celestials. Today we're going to go ahead and talk about Elysians. So Elysians are your transformation uh, into angelic beings that do more damage than you build over time. Uh, so with that being said, you will see your Elysian meter right here with the character of the one you have currently equipped. Once this bar gets all the way around and you can see, I'll go over here and if I fight somebody, I will transform into the Elysian. The Elysian then has stronger attacks, usually until you get to higher levels. I make sure you continue to level them up and we'll hop into that here in a second. So I just wanted to show you what that looked like before we get into the details of them uh, and, and a few things here to go over. Your Elysians will get unlocked through level upgrades, uh, at least for the first three. Um, the fourth one, you will get at level 200, I believe. Uh, and then the, from on there, you're pretty much spending money uh, and sometimes a lot of it. So they came out with quite a few new ones recently. Uh, the Elysian Vol Vol Valoris, Valoris, <laughs> excuse me, uh, gets from VIP level nine. But as I mentioned in a prior episode, not only do you unlock it at level nine, and level nine is a lot of money. VIP level nine is what I mean. But it's also costs, I don't know, 5,800 diamonds, which is like $58. So of the money you're spending, you got to reuse that money just to unlock them. So I haven't done that yet because I've used the diamonds I've acquired for the events that were happening at that time to get mythic stones. But I digress, okay? So from there on, there are plenty of other ones that, yes, I wish I had just as much as every other person. And you can see their base stats here. Grand, cool, great, right? But overall, let's get into what really matters for the everyday player. Uh, number one, your lesions usually, if I remember right, have to be level 10 to go ahead and unlock the next one, regardless if you have the item to do so, meaning the actual whatever you want to say, piece of equipment here for you to unlock them. Uh, you can't do it until the prior one's high enough level. The other piece of that is you want to keep these levels relatively the same. I made the mistake of upgrading this one much higher than my others uh, to offset that because I used him for so long and I thought that was the right thing to do. Unfortunately uh, for me, unfortunately for you, uh, it's better to go ahead and know this advice now. Keep these about the same. They use less resources to upgrade at lower levels and you get the boost, meaning they stack. So if I increase this Elysian, the Elysian Sterilis, and don't use her, I still get the bonus for my attack in BR even though I'm not using her. So keep these, number one rule, uh, close to the same level as possible, okay? Uh, each one is going to have different uh, special attacks. So depending on what you want, there are ones that help with healing and defense uh, opposed to offense. So look into that. I won't go too far into that and make this a quick episode, uh, but you can go ahead and do so. If you want to read their stories, they're right here for you. Personally, I never have, uh, but a little more depth to the game. The other tab up here is the Arms of Elysian. Now, if you watch the episode where I looked in the shop or in the inventory where you can buy these uh, pieces of these artifacts here for you uh, to upgrade these, this is the other piece that will make these much stronger. Now, as you can see, I need to upgrade here to 15 to go to level 4. And if I, I can't remember, right? I think it's 7 or 8 for the first one, 12 or 13 to go to level 3. Uh, regardless, these will certainly boost your overall character stats. So, keep these kind of equal. You see I have three, four, three, two, uh, in, in this one, ooh, I could probably upgrade if I pull them out of my inventory, which I haven't. So that's bad on me. Uh, but keep these, these are stackable. So keep these upgraded evenly as well. And it's something that I greatly missed and continue to still miss apparently, uh, that will give you boost to your BR, uh, regardless if you use them or not. Uh, with that being said, that's pretty much all there is to Elysians. Yes, they greatly help your game. Yes, you use them quite frequently. Uh, but the biggest thing, keep their levels about the same. Keep their arms of Elysians going in about the same. Uh, and it will balance out your character's BR. And lastly, look at their actual attacks and benefits. And it may help you beat a certain boss, whether as reflection damage, uh, healing damage, or heals itself, a self-healer 
or other certain aspects that bosses have. Uh, with that being said, thank you for watching this episode and I look forward to seeing you next time.